Okay, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant. So um, if you're in a good mood and you don't want to listen to a grumpy old woman like me ranting, maybe swipe on or skip on or whatever it is. Um, if you um, live in Ireland and you have somebody that you know who's under the age of 40, statistically, there's a very high chance that if you open their fridge, uh, you will find a plant-based um, dairy alternative in the fr type product in the fridge. Um, and typically it'll be from a huge, it'll be made by a huge multinational brand. Those huge multinational brands, they market and promote their products as um, good for you and good for the planet. Um, and I would contest that um, based on the following. Um, so most people in Ireland, if they feel that they're intolerant to dairy, so maybe they've eczema or maybe they have um, IBS or diverticulitis or they get bloating after dairy, whatever it is, um, they believe that they're lactose intolerant and they give up all dairy when in fact they are usually intolerant to a protein called A1 protein. Um, A1 protein is found in cow's milk in the Northern Hemisphere, but it's not in buffalo milk, goat's milk or sheep's milk. In those milks, you get A2 protein. So those, pro those dairy products are often a suitable alternative to the people who are avoiding dairy. And they're also good for you because they still have calcium in them, they still have the vitamins in them, they still are high in protein, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I would argue that it cannot be sustainable to bring in uh, soya from China or Canada or wherever it is from another continent and uh, produce these, and you're not legally allowed to call them milks anymore, produce these li liquids that you have to process, you have to add sugar to and ingredients, etc, etc, to prolong the shelf life. Um, and they cannot be a sustainable alternative to um, milk made from grass-fed animals who are outside, uh, who, which has nothing in it but milk in the case of our sheep's milk, uh, milk and live cultures in the case of our yogurt, and milk and rennet in it in the case of our cheese. Now don't listen to me because obviously I have a vested interest, but it's a kind of real bugbear of mine and I suppose anybody who's producing a sustainable um, dairy alternative product um, to be trying to sell up against massive multinational brands who are positioning themselves as healthy and positioning themselves as sustainable which there just is no way you could argue that they are more sustainable if you are living in Ireland and looking for a dairy alternative than a sheep's dairy or a goat's dairy or a buffalo dairy product. Rant over. Thank you for listening if you've listened this far.